<clears throat> Hello, we are going to begin the geometric landscape project, which uses Photoshop and Illustrator. The artwork we'll be creating in this tutorial has an old retro collage vibe with snippets of a photograph being cut out and rearranged into perfectly symmetrical geometric shapes. In order to begin this project, first we need to prepare for the assignment. So you're going to launch Adobe Photoshop and then Illustrator will tackle later. So just launch Adobe Photoshop. Then you're going to visit unsplash.com unsplash.com and search for a landscape photo. So over here we have unsplash.com. This is the URL at the top. So you're going to type that into your Google Chrome browser and search for landscape. Once you do, you will have all these beautiful royalty-free photographs that you can sift through and decide which one you want to use. Um, and then you are going to download the image that you would like to use for your project. So to, in order to download, you just click this little down arrow right here. It will download into your downloads folder. In order to find the file, hover over this little down arrow um, in the top right corner next to your Google user image um, and click on this little folder icon. That's going to open up your downloads folder and show you the image. You're going to take that image and put it in your folder on your desktop, which should be labeled your name. So just drag it over the desktop on the left hand side bar and find your name. There it is. So now it's in your user folder for graphic design. After that, you are going to go back to Google Chrome into our Google Classroom and open up this Google Doc right here. This Google Doc has links to a couple textures um, that you'll need to download. So you're going to download the dust and scratches texture. So click that link, it'll redirect you to this web page. You're gonna scroll down do, 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 to find the link right here where it says download the free dust and scratches textures. Hit no thanks, I just want this one. And that will also download to your downloads folder. Um, while that is downloading, go back to that Google Doc and download, download the grungy photocopy textures. Again, you're going to scroll down till you find that button right here that says download the grungy photocopy textures. Again, hit no thanks, I just want this one. And that's going to also download into your downloads folder. So once that is done, we will also move those two texture files into our uh, personal graphic design folder. So we just have to wait for that to download. Again, click that little down arrow, hover over one of the textures, click that little folder icon for show in Finder. You're gonna take both of those files, so hold shift and arrow down once, it'll select both files, drag them over desktop on the left hand side wait for it to change, find your folder, and drop them in. Okay, now we're going to go back to Photoshop. So you can do that just by clicking on the window behind it if you can see Photoshop, or clicking on the blue Photoshop icon down in your dock. Um, and we are going to open your image in Photoshop. So you do File, Open, or Command O. You'll get this little navigation window Go to your desktop or your documents, wherever your folder is saved. Find your folder. Open the JPEG image that you downloaded. And there it is. Okay, so it's now opened in that, folder, in that Photoshop file. Now we're going to crop our image using the crop tool, which is over here on the left-hand side. It's one, two, three, four, five tools down and if you don't see the crop tool click and hold that fifth 
tool icon and then just change it to crop. We're gonna change the ratio. No, we're not, we're not gonna change the ratio. We're gonna say it's 17 by 11 because my image is landscape. If your image is portrait, then it's gonna be 11 by 17. Depends on which side is the longer side. And then you can decide like, do I want all of this sky? Do I want less sky? I'm gonna keep it the original size of the image, but you'll notice that if I zoom in, it is going to crop a little bit off. So we just want it to be 11 by 17 so it'll fit on the paper we're printing. Once you have it um, kind of planned out where you want the composition, click done and it'll crop your image. Once we do that, we're gonna save our file. So we're gonna do file, save as, so we can rename it. And you're going to name it your last name underscore geometric landscape and you're gonna save it into your folder. If you don't see my defaults to my folder name, but if you don't see that, click on this little arrow right here, and it'll expand your window, and you can navigate to your location um, to where that folder is saved. So mine is saved on the desktop, so I click desktop, find my name, there's the contents of my folder, I've named it. Um, I'm gonna change the format from JPEG to Photoshop and then I'm gonna click Save, okay? Once you've done that, you can move on to the next step.